Red Bank, Tennessee. Minutes after a brutal robbery, police spot a possible getaway car. Okay, it's going to be a white Dodge Diplomat. I believe it's going to be occupied by two black males. We'll be getting out with this vehicle about the 4600 block of Big Boulevard. Backup units arrive as the driver slows down on the shoulder. Suddenly, he rockets off. And the speedometers begin to climb. This suspect believes his best weapon is speed. The police aren't about to let him get away. They start closing in on his left, but the driver hammers down the accelerator, roaring through tranquil streets at 70 miles an hour. He cuts across the roadway in a shower of gravel. Then he hits the curb, almost losing control. But it doesn't even slow him down. He jets away again, headed for a freeway on-ramp. As traffic starts to pick up, so do the speeds. The chase hits an upward curve. He pushes the powerful Dodge to 110. Then it happens. Police fear the worst, but amazingly, the suspect jumps out unscathed and takes off on foot. Police pull their guns, ready for anything. At these speeds, it's incredible that the Dodge stayed in one piece. But the devastating crash only pumps the suspect's adrenaline. He fails and makes a beeline toward the woods. But he's no match for the Red Bank PD. It's only moments before he's taken down. This high-speed suspect thought he could outrun the law. He believed if he kept accelerating, nothing could stop him. But all it took was one wrong move. And that speed almost cost him his life. 